Hey guys, um, my name is Gabrielle and I have Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and that results in blood pooling, which is why I need a part-time wheelchair. And um, I wanted to kind of document my journey for you guys. So here is part one of me getting my ambulatory use wheelchair. said that they could maybe get me in a little early so I probably won't be sitting in the parking lot for very long probably not at all so um, anyway I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm about to go into the wheelchair appointment um, basically from what I know it is a mobility evaluation so they're evaluating my level of mobility and then they brought a couple chairs for me to test out that my rheumatologist and physical therapist said might be good ideas um, so I'm pretty excited to see what they suggested um, after Michaela's appointment, I did kind of do some research and I did look into one chair that I really like. I like the look of and I like the way that it's built and, and everything about it, just in general. So I, I'm hoping that they brought that one. So I'm not really sure, because I know hers was, Michaela's appointment was a little different. So the thing is, is I thought that it would give me a good idea of like what this is going to be like. But now I'm thinking that like my appointment is going to be nothing like hers because... I don't know I just feel like it's gonna be different because of the fact that it's a lot they scheduled me for three hours <laughs> so um and her appointment with them was half an hour not even so I'm just I'm nervous so um what I'm gonna do is I will go in and um well actually I have to sit in the parking lot and call them and let them know like hey I'm here and they'll tell me when I can come in and then when um I'll try and like film me walking in or something like that but I won't be filming any of the appointment just because of everybody's privacy so wish me luck <laughs> hey guys so it's been a couple weeks my appointment was on July 16th and today is September 2nd, but I wanted to give you guys a more comprehensive view about what getting a wheelchair is like, so I wanted to wait till I got through a lot of the process before I was giving you guys information. So basically um, at the end of my last clip I was going into my appointment, so here's what my appointment was like. I went in, the physical therapist asked me a lot of questions. Um, reasons why I had ruled out other mobility aids such as a rollator or a cane, both of which I have, and a walker. We've ruled out those things and we talked about why my doctors had ruled those out. And then we talked about my condition and how it affects my daily living. So how my blood pooling works, how my joint problems happen, that kind of stuff. We talked about how it's a flare disorder so it doesn't happen every single day um, and it would be an ambulatory use wheelchair. We talked about all of those things, and then we also talked about the different reasons that my doctors had written down as to why I would need a wheelchair. We talked about my fall history, my faint history, that kind of stuff. Basically, just reasons as to why I would need the wheelchair. Then we talked about um, things that I currently do, like that I do with my life. So like I go to work, I go to school, and how those would be improved or how I'd be able to do more things with the chair. She wrote down all of these things. We basically, she wrote them all down in a clinical impression. And what that clinical impression does is it gives you something to give to your insurance to say, hey, this is why I need it. This is why I need the wheelchair. These are all the things that I need about it, etc." So we talked about all of those things. And then secondly, we get on to the part where we're talking about um, what actual kind of chair I need and what modifications to chairs I need. My appointment included a vendor. So the person who was there with the physical therapist was also a, a vendor. So he was someone who works with the vendor that I'm going through, which is National Seating and Mobility. 
and he was there to kind of give me options for what chair I was going to use. So he's like, all right, here's the chair that I would suggest, and then here's another chair I would suggest, and here's some modifications we can make that I would that I would suggest you do. So things like, I have to have a bunch of add-ons. So I have to have the ultra lightweight wheelchair, then I have to have a custom positioning back cushion, um, adjustable height armrests, a seat belt, a center mount one piece adjustable footboard, a leg strap, a um, custom seat cushion, anti-tippers, flat free inserts, and a smart drive system and transit tie downs. So those are all the things that he discussed me on, discussed with me about and we figured out that those are things that would benefit me. And then the physical therapist has to justify those things. So she wrote paragraphs here that say like these are the reasons why she needs these things and these are the reasons why if she didn't have these there'd be more issues. So like airless inserts are necessary because Gabrielle is not capable of maintaining the pressure of pneumatic tires independently. The wheelchair will be frequently required for her to accomplish mobility related tasks. A flat tire would render her wheelchair unable to be used. So that kind of thing. That's why I need the flat free inserts. That's how a lot of these things are laid out as just reasons as to why I need them. So your first step is the evaluation and design. So you're gonna spend some time designing the mobility solution for your needs and then they communicate with your insurance provider so that you can um, get the documentation that you need. So like I had to have a couple different things signed by different doctors. Um, that took a while, but I pushed hard. So I called doctors and I said, hey, this needs to get done today. This needs to get done, this needs to get done, this needs to get done. And that's how it happened faster than it normally would. Usually it takes like a week just for that to happen. Then they file the paperwork. Um, they collect documents required by my insurance um, to get my order approved. That usually takes eight weeks. So I got through it in like two or three. Insurance approval for me took a day. Um, normally it takes eight weeks. They submit all the documentation and then the insurance provider accepts it or denies it. Then they place the order. That takes two to six weeks. Mine is supposed to get here between the 7th and the 9th. They receive approval from the insurance and then all parts are ordered, so they have to order from the different suppliers and they have to put the chair together. And then they schedule my delivery, which can take up to one to three weeks. And then they address any additional required things and they reach out to me to schedule. Basically, the step that I'm at is I'm waiting for delivery. So I'm lucky that this process originally would normally take like several months. It only took a couple months for me because I pushed. <laughs> so if you are not on top of your doctors and on top of your insurance company and on top of NSM, like your vendor, those things will not happen fast enough. I know, at least for me, they don't happen in a time frame that I can be like okay with all of it, you know? So... My suggestion would be stay on top of everyone in the situation and control it. That would be my advice. I did have some issues with people not getting faxes and not sending faxes appropriately. So that can always be a problem that you run into. Paperwork, technology is not perfect. So that's always a problem that you can run into. So I would suggest just remaining on top of everyone and you know, knocking on their door every day, letting them know, hey, this thing's got to get done. Otherwise, it won't. I will obviously give you guys a video when my chair gets here, um, and I will show you guys all the features and stuff like that. So, yeah, but for right now, this is what I've got for you. So I hope that this was helpful. If you have any questions about getting a wheelchair or about getting your doctor to approve it or your insurance to approve it or whatever, um, or if you have questions about the process, you can comment down below and I will answer as many as I possibly can. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching and we'll see you guys in whatever we make next. Bye. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side.